Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSE 2004 guys. The given question is, consider the following statements with respect to user level threads and kernel level kernel support threads. So if you recall, we have discussed a specific video on this concept, right? Yes. So the reason why I select, I, why I took a specific video for these topics and have explained you in detail is because these type of true or false questions will be given. And nowadays, as MSQs have been added, so these questions will be more and more tougher, guys. Because we are directly need to identify which of the following is true because there will be no options indirectly, right? Yes. Okay. So let us start. So option one says that context switching is a fast in kernel supported threads. Oh my God. This statement is absolutely false, right? Yes. So if you recall, kernel level threads take more time in context switching. The main reason why they take more time is because they are known to the operating system. So operating system should take care about their swapping and everything. So it is going to take some time when more time when compared to user level threads, right? Yes. Option B says that for user level threads, a system call can block the entire process. That is absolutely correct, right? Yes. So basically user level threads might have multiple threads inside them. But for an operating system, it is known that that is a single thread. So that is the reason why if this particular thread did some wrong thing, so the whole process will be blocked guys. So the rest of both can also not execute, right? Yes. So now moving back to kernel level threads, kernel supports threads can be scheduled independently. That is absolutely true guys. I gave this as an advantage when it comes to kernel level threads, right? Yes. So whenever you are having multiple kernel level threads based on your interest, you can in, you can add, add scheduling things. So like priority and all those things you can add for them guys, right? Yes. So now moving on to option four, user level threads are transparent to kernel level threads. Okay. So most of the students will get confused in this particular statement guys. So let us eliminate the option which says one is true. So option C is wrong and option D is wrong. So now 90% of the students will be coming till here guys. So whoever learned this concept of user level threads and kernel level threads will be coming up to here. So here the students will start get, getting confused. So basically what is a transparency guys in computers terminology? So transparency is nothing but showing something is easy or hiding something from the operating system guys. Got it? Yes. So what is user level thread hiding guys? So it is internally having multiple threads, but it is going to show to the operating system that is a single thread, right? So indirectly it is working in a proper way and it is hiding some kind of properties of itself. Okay. Okay, from the operating system. So that is the meaning of this uh, transparency guys. So most of the students will be thinking like transparency. Okay, so transparency means operating system should know about these uh, three threads, right? Hence this uh, statement is false. Most of the students will be thinking, but uh, this uh, statement is a uh, true guys because of that reason that uh, here transparency based on the operating system understanding means uh, it doesn't know about these things. Got it? Yes. So it's a solid wall. Assume in that way. Okay. Yes. So with that understanding, you can say that option A is the correct answer. Got it? Yes. So when I did this question first time, I, I also kept option B as the correct answer guys, because I solved it multiple times. I remembered this particular thing now based on transparency. Okay. Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question, right? Yes. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.